Hey guys, Jill here from Ask a Vet Tech. Today we're going to talk about a pet licking mat. A lot of people have heard of them, but don't really know what they're used for. So today we're going to do a deep dive into what we can use them for, what we can put on them, and there'll be some video of my dogs using them at the end. So the reason we would use a lick mat would be to, to foster relaxation, get them calmed, give them some enrichment activities, curb a little bit of anxiety, over arousal, or reactivity, or just as a fun treat use a silicone that is BPA free so that there's no risk of causing cancer in my pet. I also like to use the one with suction cups on it. And the reason for that is, is that they hold in spot. When they're licking at them really hard, they pretty much stay put. Please make sure that you supervise your pet while they're using the licking mat. It is not something that you just wanna give them in their crate and then walk away because you're gonna come back and that whole thing is gonna be gone and your pet will ingest it. Why might we use a licking mat? We might use it if we needed to check our pet's ears, do a toenail trim, blow off some boredom. If the weather's terrible outside and you can't do your normal activity, this is a great way to burn some of that energy to keep them busy and focused while you do whatever it is that you need to do to your pet. So here you can see that I am using a spatula to apply some yellow stuff there. What is left over from making some deviled eggs? There are tons of things that you can put on a lick mat from fruits to pureed vegetables, to meats, to eggs, all kinds of stuff. I am also going to use a Greek yogurt that is non-fat and it also has a vanilla flavor to it. I like to make sure that there's no xylitol in my yogurt and that's where label reading comes in. Things people put on these lick mats can be a mashed up banana, applesauce, egg, raw or cooked, cream cheese, pumpkin, Peanut butter in moderation because some dogs have issues with peanut butter and there also can be xylitol in peanut butter so please make sure you read the label. Using a canned dog food is a good alternative as well because it is a high value treat and they don't want to leave any of that behind. There are a couple options with a lick mat. You can either give it to them just how it is right now as you're preparing it where everything is moist and very easily licked off or you can freeze it to give them a little bit more of a challenge. Uh, some people put little tiny pieces of meat in there or whatever you got left over that is still food safe for your pet. I got a little bit too much yogurt on these ones, so there's quite a mess here, but we'll get it cleaned up. If you are going to freeze them, make sure that they're on a flat surface so that nothing drips off into your freezer. And I like to add a couple little treats here and oh well, Maya needs a treat and Lazy needs a treat and everybody needed a treat. Dory needed one. Oh, there's Charlie. Make sure that these treats are stuck down a little bit with the yogurt so that they don't pop out of there when I put them in the freezer. All right, off into the freezer they go. They'll sit here for a couple hours until they're nice and frozen, and then I'll give them to the dogs. All the treats are stuck really, really well, and uh, we're gonna see how they like them. Suction cup it to the floor, nice and frozen. If it doesn't wanna stay stuck at this point, you could always wet the floor a little bit or wet the suction cups. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. There's Dory. Oh. <laughs> Remember, Lacey only has one eye. She trips on stuff a lot, so she needs a lot of guidance. And Charlie's not really sure because he's scared of life itself. If we'll even see if my old notice of the dishwasher, and she has no clue. So we're going to give it to her on the floor. Charlie, you must come back to yours. You have one right here. All right, now I'm just going to supervise them and let them enjoy their licky mat and let them have a little bit of enrichment. It is terribly raining outside. We have an incredible storm going on right now and the rain has not let up and so I want to give them something fun to do today since they haven't had much outside time. enjoying it except for Dory. She gave up because her boy came home and she could care less now about food. But um, we have a new visitor that decided to take over her licky mat. 
Haley the kitten. The things on this mat are safe for her too, so I'm not too worried about it. They do make licky mats for kittens and cats that are shaped like fish, but as you can tell, she could care less what shape it is. She's going to have a little snack herself. Okay, so pretty much we've all lost interest, so I picked him up and this is what's left on our licky mats. And uh, we're going to get him cleaned up. That's the one the cat had. I didn't think she needed a ton of milk, so. So I like to just rinse them off in the sink like this so that uh, you can get all the debris out of each of those little tiny holes. Um, I also do run them through the dishwasher, but uh, you need to make sure that you check your manufacturer's recommendations if they can be washed in the dishwasher or not. I like to use a little sprayer because it gets into all the little nooks and crannies. And you can also add some soap at this time if you wanted. Um, I put them up on the edge of the sink there and that seemed to work a lot better because you've got gravity helping you to knock the junk out. So. As you can see, it rinses out really quickly. This was a frozen mat, and after they licked on it for a little bit, it thawed out the things that were frozen. So it gave us a good five, six minutes of uh, licking fun. Getting them cleaned up so that I can get them put away. And I like to store these with a piece of paper towel between them so that they don't stick to each other and then they're easy access for whenever I think that they need to use them again. I did buy brand new mats for this video because ours were looking pretty rough. There are puzzle bowls that you can feed from if your dog needs more stimulation during feed time or is a fast eater, you could always use that to slow them down. I left a list below in the description of animal related products I talked about in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, I love to hear from you. I appreciate every single one of you and remember, I'm here for you, you're here for your pet. Have a great day.